welcome to Crochet Curious. My channel to Crochet Curious is hosted by me, Joanne, and I am here today to talk about things that I have made in the past. As a new channel, I think you might want to get to know me a little better, and so I will show you some of the things that I've made in the last year um, and give you an opportunity to just kind of see my uh, flavor of <laughs> the kind of things that I've been doing. Um, I guarantee you, though, that in the future, uh, there's going to be a lot of different things going on, and there'll be more videos about that coming up very soon. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that have um, I have made recently. And um, we're going to talk about... Well, most of what we'll be talking about is in broad strokes because I may not have all of the detailed information about what went into <laughs> um, all these projects, um, but I will um, do my best to talk about them uh, and give credit where credit is due. So let's look at the one that started it all. I am a big fan of Darn Good Yarn because of their, um, that they offer employment, that they, they use recycled goods. There's a lot of good things about the organization and that's where I actually started my journey about a year ago. I had bought some Darn Good Yarn and, um, and I was knitting because I remembered enjoying knitting a long time ago. Not that I ever knew very much about knitting because I obviously didn't. I learned very quickly. I knew nothing about knitting. Before YouTube, before any of that, uh, this is, you know, probably 30 years ago. Um, but what I thought I was knitting properly, I got some darn good yarn and I made this very beautiful, very beautiful scarf. And let me see if I can get it close enough to give you a flavor. I think that is fairly good to show it. And this is hmm, Twisting Rainbows. Twisting Rainbows. Um, it's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So it took me a while to make this. And later I found out that I was not knitting properly. That I was doing it backwards. Um, that's something you'll hear about me. I'm left-handed, but grew up in a family of right-handers, and so anybody who ever showed me anything showed me how to do it right-handed. So I'm confused constantly uh, how to do things. So, and don't ever ask me for directions that involve turn left, turn right, because you'll regret it. Um, but anyway. <laughs> This was what started it all. I really love this scarf. I get a lot of compliments on it when I wear it out. The coloring is just so gorgeous and uh, the feel of it is really nice. Um, so this is what started the fiber journey for me. And, um, but as I explained in my welcome video, which I will link below, um, I quickly discovered that I could not purl. For some reason, purling and knitting in the same row just confounds me. And so I've tried numerous times and then I decided, you know what, I think I'll crochet uh, instead. Because I had dabbled in crochet, but I was terrible at it. The, I remember making a blanket when I was a young married uh, mom and the blanket went kind of, my tension was terrible. and. <laughs> But I didn't know what I was doing. I never got instruction from anybody. I just tried to follow a book and yeah, it didn't work. But anyway, um, I decided ah, I'll give that a shot. So what I did, sorry about that, uh, is I started searching YouTube and I found the wonderful Crystal at Bag of Day and her beautiful instructions uh, are so clear and concise. Um, I had been, you know, making this, making that. I made some hats. I, well, I started, oh, actually, I started with loom knitting 
and I did a bunch of scarves and stuff doing loom knitting. And then got a centro and then I started crocheting. And when I started doing the stuff that Bag O'Day, that Crystal, uh, following her tutorials, I found that I was really um, able to follow what she was saying. It was clear. I understood. And I was able to start to crochet some things. And so last summer I made this. And this is the first thing I've ever made in crochet. This beautiful shawl that um, I was incredibly impressed with myself, I have to say, <laughs> because uh, I just really um, never really imagined I could do that much with crochet, and uh, it was really exciting to make this. And I questioned my color choices a few times, but then when it was made, I loved I loved it and I still love it and um, and I get use out of it um, it is made from Mary Maxim yeah uh, mellow spun and in there's four colors there and uh, yeah I don't have the colors um, and this is I will link this below I can't remember what it's called Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll link the pattern for this below, though. Um, and later, I tried to make it again out of some Hobie yarn, and I got this far. And honestly, I'm, I think I'm over it. And my granddaughter said she would like this just as it is, so I think that's what's going to happen to that. Um, that's part of my whip pile um anyway so i made this and it gave me courage <laughs> to try things and so i have tried a number of things and i continue to try things um here's something i made recently oh, maybe i made this this is made from super saver uh red heart super saver ombre uh, whatever the purple ombre is called, and it's just a super long, I did a series of, this is my own pattern I made up in my head, it's a alternating series of doubles, triples, I mean doubles, halves, and singles, um, and I just alternated them throughout, and made it very long and put a fringe on it, boop boop. So, there's that. And around that same time, uh, it was close to Christmas, I decided to make an elf hat, but I didn't want to make it in Christmassy colors because I wanted to be able to wear it throughout the winter. And so I made this elf hat out of a mandala. Mandala. Did I save the band on this I don't know it is I think I have another one somewhere anyway yeah I'll figure that out and then I washed it with the pom-pom on it so now the pom-pom has been felted <laughs> so that was a mistake but anyway um this one had some colored dots that showed up in weird places on the yarn but I just let it do what it did and I this is an adapted um bag o day pattern she does an elf hat with these uh, rows in it and so i used some of that and then i changed this part um i had a particular length i was looking for so that's what i went with um and anyway that's my that's my elf hat i don't know if i dare put it on i'll probably screw my hair up There you go. And anyway, that is, that's my elf hat. There's the back. It has a seam kind of going up it. And I just kept moving the 
where I would do the reducing so that the seam didn't wrap around to the front of the, of the hat. So, <laughs> okay. And then I also made this recently. It's a corner to corner. And this, I do know the name of this one. It's Cinnabar. This also is Bag of Day. Um, it's really pretty, really pretty. The Cinnabar just really captured me. I loved it, and I love the way this texture looks with it. It's really a very lovely blanket. That's another one I did. And then I made my granddaughter a dress. Also a bag of day. And this is from, let me think. I think this is Unicorn Mandala. I could be wrong about that. And I will find the pattern for that one as well. Anything I can remember which the pattern is, I will find it and put a link in the in the description box. All right, now this, <laughs> I stepped out and did a thing with a design. Um, I designed this myself. This is actually made from a combination of, hmm, I have some lyocell kind of yarn and this brush strokes, loops and threads brush strokes. I actually had loops and threads um, brush strokes that I had bought on Facebook Marketplace from somebody. They were de-stashing and I really liked it. And so I bought it and it was in the purple, the purple one that they have, Blackberry. Um, but she had other colors and so I got all of them. And I had a blue mix and a black, I mean a blue mix and the in the blackberry pattern and I made a blanket for a friend out of those but then I ended up with all this other um, brush, you know brush strokes yarn so now I have in my stash still I have lava which this is shadow is this red one and then I have it's red and black gray um lava is kind of a fuchsia with the reddish and brown and then i still have some purple also but i wanted to use some of this and i paired it with this lyocell and then i made this here and i thought you know i don't want a scarf that flops around because i don't want to make it very long so I just crocheted them together so that they stay looped, you know, and you can see there's, anyway, so that's what I did with that one. And it's got a big old fuzzball <laughs> hanging out there. Uh, but anyway, this uh, looks really good on um, and goes nice and flat under a coat. So that was my own little design I did. And you can see the yarn. And it's chunky and roving, so that's why I paired it with something, so that the really thin pieces would, um, would have some substance to them. Boop. Um, and then I have a package of hats here that I made. It's just a variety of hats. I'm going to donate these to Mary's Place in Seattle. I'm in, the, I'm in the Puget Sound area, and Mary's Place is my um, where I like to donate things to. They help people suffering from homelessness, um, getting house placement, and they provide shelter, things like that and services so here's another one some of these are loomed and some are made from bag o day um, beanie uh, patterns that I used there's a 
reversible. Another one. And a lot of this is scrap yarn. I've bought a lot of uh, ball yarn from people on uh, Marketplace just to kind of get more variety in my stash without buying tons of yarn. And when I first started out, I did not know what I wanted to work with. I didn't know anything about yarn, really. And thanks to the generous um, information <laughs> that is available on YouTube, I've learned a lot about the yarn weights, about, you know, what they're made of and pairing things. And, you know, I've just learned a lot in the last year. But I'll tell you something. There is so much more to learn. And so that's um, a flavor of the kind of things that I've been making. And then I have a pile of whips, which I'm going to do in another video. Um, I'll go through my whips and you can see what is going on uh, for this moment. And then uh, I will be offering some other videos in the next week or so uh, about um, upcoming uh, projects. So there is a lot um, that I am finding interest in, and I hope that you also will find it interesting. I'm also going to be talking about um, places that I like to shop, uh, Darn Good Yarn. Um, I'll talk about some of the products I've gotten there. Uh, I will also talk about uh, Zulily. Uh, I wanted to specify today, I should have said sooner, my jewelry today is from Paparazzi, and my daughter is a paparazzi rep. So I'm going to link her in uh, the description box. And if you are interested in $5 jewelry, uh, you will see examples of their jewelry uh, on me regularly. I love the jewelry. It's so pretty. I don't go very many places these days since the pandemic. I am a homebody. Um, work from home and live at home and don't go out much. And But I wear the jewelry because I love it. And um, I will share it with you. And if you want to have some beautiful jewelry, very inexpensive, and you want to support a wonderful lady who is my daughter, uh, she's a special ed teacher. She's a, she's amazing. Um, and give her a little secondary income. Uh, if you would like to support that, uh, I would really appreciate it. So I will put her link in the description box. Her name is Marlene. And uh, I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing today, that you are blessed, that you are warm and safe. And I just encourage you to lift up others. It's the easiest thing in the world to take offense at people. Instead, extend grace to others and just know that, you know, you're not walking in their shoes. So sometimes people don't behave well, but we can, we don't have to uh, take offense and then carry it in us. Instead, we can bless them and move on. And, you know, you don't have to carry them with you. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in another video.